Image Relaxation Videos present. You are about to begin, a 30 minutes, mindfulness meditation practice. Mindfulness meditation can be done, either in a sitting, or lying down position. Whether sitting or lying down, see if you can feel the connection between your body and the surface underneath you. Maybe notice, where parts of your body, are in contact with the surface, and the way the surface, supports you from below. If sitting, as best you can, take an upright, dignified posture, embodying a sense of feeling wakeful and uplifted. If seated on a chair, move yourself away from the back of your chair, so your spine is straight and unsupported. Place your hands on your thighs, or on your lap, and maybe tuck your chin in a little, so your muscles, at the back of your neck, are not tensing up. Relax your jaw, and let your shoulders drop, creating a sense of openness and confidence, with your posture, strong, and still. If lying down, lie flat on your back, with your arms resting beside your body, and your palms facing upward. Lying either, with your legs stretched out, and your feet falling away from each other, or with your knees bent, and your feet flat on the floor, whichever you prefer. And now, close your eyes, or if you prefer, keep them open and direct your gaze, downwards towards the floor, about one or two meters in front of you. And now, make your intention, to let yourself have this time, to practice mindfulness meditation. Hold your intention lightly, as you begin to practice. Allow yourself this time, to let go of your doing mode. A mode that many people, often get caught up in. And let yourself enter, a mode of just being. This is the time for you to practice, bringing your awareness, into your body and your environment. And, into your present experience, whatever that might be. Try to let go of any expectations. You may have a natural tendency to want things to be a specific way. Just allow your experience to be exactly as you find it. Remember now, that the intention, in this practice, is simply to be, with your experience. There is nothing to achieve, except to pay attention, to your experience, as best you can, moment by moment. Be gentle with yourself, and try to let go of any tendency, to judge yourself. There is no right, or wrong way, to do this practice. There is no failure and no success. You are not even, trying to become relaxed, and calm. Just be with whatever arises, bringing a kind, and gentle curiosity, to whatever comes up, in each moment. And now, begin to pay attention to your breathing. Notice any sensations of breathing in your body. Maybe focus your attention, on your breath to begin with, as it enters through your nose. The air, brushing gently, on the insides of your nostrils, as you inhale. And again, as you exhale. And now, move your attention, 
to any sensation in your throat. Can you feel the movement of air as it passes down into your esophagus? And now, move your attention to your chest. Notice how it lifts with each inhale, and falls with each exhale. And now, move your awareness to your abdomen. Feel the expansion and contraction of your abdomen as you breathe. And now, expand your awareness to the process of breathing in the whole of your upper body. Your nose, your throat, your chest and your abdomen. Simply notice how it is as you follow your breath in, then out, and in, and out. Feel your breath. Tune into it. Not controlling it. Just place a simple, soft attention on your breath. And, if your mind wanders, as it inevitably does, just notice that, and gently escort your attention back to your brain. Not in a harsh way, or with a sense of failure. Just recognize that wandering is something that minds do. Bringing your mind back is just a part of your meditation practice. Each time your mind wanders, is a new opportunity to practice paying attention. Practice this form of compassionate awareness. So if your mind wanders a thousand times, just bringing it back a thousand times. Know that each time you bring it back, it is an act of courage and kindness. And doing this, not with an attitude of striving or struggle, but just being interested in what is happening. And now, continue practicing like this for a while. Just follow your breath in and out. Has your mind wandered? Just bring it back to your breath if it has. And now, expanding your awareness. Feel your breath move throughout your whole body. 
Feel how your whole body moves subtly with each breath. You might become aware of your feet or your ankles on the ground, your buttocks on your cushion or chair, your spine, your arms and hands, your neck and head. Hold your whole body in awareness. Your whole body sitting here, breathing. Feel a sense of the space your body takes up and the space around you. Holding your breath and body in this wider space of awareness. You may become aware of specific sensations in parts of your body. Maybe warmth or coldness in your feet or tension in your shoulders. Allow your individual sensations to be part of your awareness. Check in with your posture to see if it still embodies a sense of wakefulness and dignity. When your mind wanders, just acknowledge where it has gone and gently escort it back with the anchor of your breath and your body. At times, you may become aware of intense sensations in your body. And when that happens, you have choices about how you work with this. You could choose to move your body, in which case, see if you can make your movement part of your practice. Be aware of your intention to move and your sensations of moving and the after effect. Or, when intense sensations arise, you could choose to bring your awareness to your intensity and move towards it. Move close to explore your limits. Maybe move your awareness all the way into your region of intensity. Bring a gentle curiosity to your sensations there. Maybe imagine that you could breathe your breath all the way into this area, along with your awareness. Do not try to get rid of your intensity, just explore what is there. What sensations are there? Do they change? Do they stay the same? Another option is to bring your awareness back to your breath. Your breath moving in your abdomen. Using your breath as an anchor you can always return to. Have a sense of breathing 
with your intensity. Let the stable anchor of your breath allow you to be with your intensity. Know that your breath is a haven that is always there for you. And now, if you have been focusing on intense sensations, when they stop pulling your attention, just return to your sense of your body as a whole. Sit here, breathing. Return to your whole body, breathing. And now, move your attention to sounds. There is no need to go out and hunt for sounds. Just allow them to come to you. There may be sounds up close, within your body, or in the room, or outside, or far away. Just notice them, without needing to label them, or to like them, or dislike them. Just let them be as they are. Notice the pitch, the texture, and the volume. Notice gaps between sounds. Notice any silences. If you find yourself Creating storylines around sounds, just return to your simple experience of hearing. Be with your direct experience of sounds, rather than thinking about the sounds. If your mind wanders, just bring it gently back to your awareness of sounds. Notice how sounds arrive sometimes stay around for a while, and then leave, arising and dissolving. Sounds coming and going within your vast, wider space of your awareness. And now, move your awareness to your thoughts. Notice how each thought is an event in your mind. Notice how it arises, passes through, maybe hanging around for a while, and then changes, or dissolves, or turns into another thought. 
you do not have to do anything particular with your thoughts. You do not have to try and shut them out or alter them. Just notice them. Do not try to empty your mind of thoughts or have a blank mind. Just pay attention to your thoughts with awareness and compassion. Whether your thoughts feel positive or negative, good or bad, just try to treat each one of them equally. Just let them be just as they are. Do not judge them or criticize them or get attached to them. And now, just work with this for a few moments. One way you may like to relate to your thoughts is as if they were trains passing through a station. The trains arrive at the station, they stay there for a time, and then they depart. Now, when you practice mindfulness of thoughts, it is like you are standing on the station platform, watching the trains pass by. You do not get on the trains of thought, or ride them off into the distance. You just stay still on the station platform. As you watch the trains arrive, stay a while and leave again, you suddenly realize, you have wandered onto a train of thought, and are being carried away by it. Just step off the train, return to the station platform, and continue to practice like this for a while. Another way you can practice with thoughts is to relate to them as if they were part of a movie on a screen in front of you. Just as if you were at the cinema, watching a movie, being interested in each new piece of dialogue. Pay attention to the movie, engaging with it from the perspective of your seat. But try not to get caught up and join in with the drama, or believe that the movie is necessarily real. It is just a movie on a screen. It is just your thoughts. At times, your thoughts can be linked to particular emotions in your body. You can have a thought that is connected to a feeling of anger, or a frightening thought, or a happy thought. Emotions that arise when you are paying attention to your thoughts may be difficult to be with. 
Maybe, and only if it is okay for you, move your attention to your emotion for a while. Bring your awareness specifically to the part of your body where you feel it most. What is the quality of this emotion? What is the texture? What is the energy of it like? Is it hot? Or cold? Pleasant? Or unpleasant? Powerful, like a wave in the ocean? Or less tangible, like a little ripple? Maybe, there is no particular emotion, present in your body, at the moment. If so, then just noticing that. The absence of emotion. And if you find your thoughts, or emotions, difficult to be with, at any time during your practice, then perhaps just say to yourself silently. It is okay. Whatever is going on, it is okay. I can be with it. See if you can give your thoughts and emotions space to be. Treat them like guests until the time comes for them to move on. If at any moment, your thoughts or emotions become too powerful, then of course, it is fine to move your attention, back to your breathing, or move your body, or to stop practicing more. See if you can, listen to, the wisdom of your mind, and your heart, and do what is best, for you at this time. If you need to move your body, or stop, maybe see if you are able, to maintain your awareness, as you move your body, or as you move on, to your next activity of the day. Otherwise, return to mindfulness of breathing, now, and continue with this, until the end of your session. Follow your in-breath, and follow your out-breath. Be with your breathing, in your body. And now, as your practice comes to an end, gently become fully aware of all your senses and your surroundings. Begin to move your fingers and toes, moving and stretching in any way that feels right to you. Bring yourself back to where you are right now. Not rushing, not hurrying, just gently moving, stretching effortlessly. Maybe see if you are able to maintain some sense of mindfulness as you go about the rest of your day. Take comfort 
in the knowledge that, every time your mind wanders, you are able to return to awareness, by anchoring yourself, through the practice of mindfulness meditation.